The Danes, they've got to do everything in their power to get back into this series. And we're off. Fist around on our hands, Hugo. We're looking at Perfecto and company starting on the T side. Three deep over here for Heroic over on the B site. And no info yet. Tessus is about to realize the mid control has gone the way of Na'Vi. Top con smoke lets them push up as well. And Boomish is putting pressure on B, keeping this triple stack here. That won't be the play for Na'Vi, though. With the player in apartments, or palace rather, the bomb coming through connector. Tessus is trying to get that info back desperately. Borob's already seen the bomb. Dinking to put to six. Of course he lives to tell the tale. Can he do any more, though? Electronic dinking in response. It's trades of damage, but yet to be a kill. Na'Vi going for the plant. And with Boomish up on short, Tessus can't really peek to stop him. Heroka coming in through spawn for the retake. And so it's an awkward five on five retake. Now everyone, everyone loves one of these, but maybe not Boomich. As he's bought out of the round immediately, Simple cannot follow up. So Electronic, you got any more of that frag juice left? Because boy, oh boy, are we going to need some. And he's dishing it out high in supply. Tessas on the bomb, finished off by Electronic, who gets off to the start here with three kills in the round for Na'Vi, locking in that uh -oh. pistol, and he just might try and run it back again. Yeah, that looked like it could have gone very well for Heroic, right? Kadian plays uh, things really nicely on B by hiding behind the pillar. Uh, and Boomish is trying to play short so they have the bomb planted for, you know, uh, the, the mid area. And he can actually stop the defuse if he gets close. Kadian waits until Boomish stops considering the B site. Comes in with a backstab. That's the first kill. But then it all just falls apart as Heroic filters through CT spawn. Na'Vi oh, starting things off. They traded pistols back in the previous map. It was Na'Vi to go clean on their CT anti ecos and even went as far as getting a force by win on their T side as well. So reckless stuff. Bit of a pause, but Heroic will be buying back in. Scout and Deegs. Well, it was a player that just crashed. Not a big deal. He's already back in the server, so nothing's really going to change. We should be seeing the freeze time come up here any second now. Or perhaps any minute. We'll find out. Do we know who it was? It's I someone from you. RV, right? It's Boomage. I mean, it oh, well. He's not there. All right. Yeah, well. That's just what gave it away, right? <laughs> There's a Mac 10 where Boomage once was, like hey, like man. a ghost. Hey, now. Whoa, big fella. Would be, would be very, very cool. Like this storyline for Na'Vi, right? To... To show up here at the Pro League and, and look good all throughout the group stage, dropping just one series, and then look to make it to playoffs in this fashion, like just doing the same again where you don't drop anything, would be kind of unreal. They are looking like the team to beat right now. Yeah, especially after bombing Clone, right? Like they just, they, they were really, really... They fell out early in that event, really underwhelming, right? They beat Mouse Sports, they then lose two more series straight up. And they're gone. Heroic, they picked up the win there. They were first place. And right now, Na'Vi might be knocking them back down to that lower bracket, to that consolidation final. I, I'm curious. Were it was Simple and Electronic at boot camp for Cologne? I think they Pretty were, good. right? And now that they've headed home, like Na'Vi are in this incredible form. Mm. Kind of wild, right? Kadian looking down mid with his scout. Gets smoked off right away. Now, let me tell you about my guy, Flamey. Right, he buys an MP5 SD because this guy, he knows he doesn't even have to get a kill in the round. Doesn't matter. And that's why you buy the MP5, right? It makes a bit of noise. It looks kind of cool and you want it to be good. And ultimately, it's just not. And that's fine. The risks you can take when simple and electronic are <laughs> on your team. 
And in fact, he's just left Palace, running away. Tessas hears it and re-aggresses. So spawn is clear. A can be emptied up. Obviously, there's a chance Na'Vi will ramp, but Borob is going to make the risk and move over. Mid is belonging to Na'Vi again, but that's all Heroic want as they group up three inside of B. This flank coming through, simple running, and he's going to get shot at. AK dropped. Another player coming in for the trade. Can Tessa stand tall? Boomich. Oh, he's ducked. Oh, he's on the right side. Tessa doesn't realize he's just bypassed him. Grabbing the AK and somehow getting out alive and somehow even taking Boomich with him. I don't know how these Deeks are doing it, but Heroic have yet to lose a frag. Finally traded back by Perfecto, but he is gone as well. That is a beautiful round for Tessa's. One HP as he survives with the AK. He misses every timing onto Boomich, but hits the shot through the smoke. If we could have like a warmed up heroic, like looking a lot better on a looser map where those angels are going to be, you know, far more expected, far less denied by utility. And maybe heroic can make this an interesting series after all. That first map was a blowout. All under control for now. Maybe I'm speaking too soon. Oh dear, Perfecto with another electronic. If he didn't get traded, Arcadian was lower. Shot from death. Perfecto running. Oh, he just gets away, but Stal knows. That's information. Heroic can set up for this one. Where is the bomb going is the question. T-spawn or apartments? If Stal goes to the top of mid, he might hear footsteps. What information does he get given? Perfecto doubles back. Stown hears this as well. He knows what to expect. And he's going to drop the bomb and the round. Heroic finding their second. Navi's forced back in. Will fall short. Something that's kind of cool to me is that if, if if Heroic, say they lose this series and they drop down, right, with, with another chance, obviously, to reach the grand finals. Well, you know, we've seen them beat up on Astralis. Never actually seen them play mouse sports. Yeah. Last time they did that was last year, 2019. So that's a that's a cool idea of, of a potential thing that could happen. You already right? talked about the, the mouse sports Astralis history as well. Yeah, there. yeah. I mean, th th there's so much to talk about, man. I do love it. Like when you reach these playoffs and everything, all like these little history bits all start to matter again in a very, very big way. This round is just a mow down. We can forget about it. It's nice from Nico. It's a nice bit of mid control here for Heroic. And ultimately, oh. Hit the money. It's right. just that nice, clean third that Heroic were hoping for. Now we get the buy back in for Na'Vi, and this is where things get real exciting again. We got AKs out. Electronic going to be donning his. No AWP in sight for a man like Simple. He's just going to have to maybe even run the Krieg. He's been picking that up occasionally. That's been interesting to keep an eye on. But he will just go back to his roots with the AK. Boomich sacrificing firepower in favor of getting utility. And one nice thing here for Simple, at least, is that he doesn't have to worry about Cadian getting annoying with an AWP on his side, as this is just five rifles into this round for the Danes. Top mid smoke is down for Heroic. They are triple nading it as well. Na'Vi going to hear all of that and know what to expect. Mid has been theirs when they won it since the pistol. So Heroic finally sending a statement their way. Electronic taking his time under. He doesn't want to walk into the tunnel and get caught in the open. Nico checks it with a flash and sees nothing. Then Electronic aggresses. This is good. That mental clock, that time in Nico's head. Is he ready? Is he prepared? It's a no. Electronic does pinch him. I just cleared it, Nico thinks. Doesn't matter. Na'Vi, strike first. Man advantage and mid taken right back. Heroic have to concede it. Going to look elsewhere instead. Borup flashed into the ramp room. Flamey still patrolling the palace. Arvi, where do they want to go with this advantage? Heroic is still standard 2-2 right now. Perfecto is holding for aggression. You won't see Cadian in this position, but anyone pushing B will die. Arvi setting up for B execute smokes, but the bomb is still in middle. Keep that in mind. Awarded with a kill onto Electronic, and now more players trying to siphon their way in through the connector. They've got to run through that Molotov. Ooh. It's 
Simple does get into the site and now has to try and get this bomb down, but dropped from CT by Tessas. And Boomich attempting the trade. There's also only a few seconds left, so they need to get this bomb down. And thankfully, they will be allowed Whoa. to. The spray almost connecting, but Flamey not quite feeling the pressure yet. Knows that Stown is now in the connector, and he's actually looking to take this fight. Second man in the jungle now emerging as well. Flamey having to be a bit paranoid about CT, and that Molotov... Ooh, he's in like a very slim little area. Still allowed to exist behind the bomb box, and now Stown... TPing onto the stairs, looking for this 1v2. He can't find, there's the first. Flamey does trade it back right away. And that's a great round from Flamey. Three to put a second on the board for Na'Vi. Yeah, very fortunate the ammo count was low for Stown there. Could have flicked, could have hit some ridiculous shot, but he had to swap to the Deagle after he killed Boomich on ramp. And that gave Flamey the time to re-peak and win. Oh, great cover and great time for Na'Vi, right? It may have come down to the last five seconds with the plant, but, you know, both players communicating well. We know that has been a problem in the past for Na'Vi, overcoming. We've all seen the demos, but uh, right now things are going well. Back in with two, double orb for Heroic. It's down joining Kadian, who goes towards the connector to stop. He flashed out, and that's a beautiful shot for Kadian. Fully flashed, finds the head of Boomich. And Na'Vi, where do they go from there? Oh. Double up is now given away. Navi know what they're up against. I mean, or do they, right? Like, they saw the AWP peak con. You could have fast rotated B for the it's boost. Very fast. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sure. There's a world. But I think Navi, Navi know the tendencies. Navi know what they're up against. They know Heroic like to pull this up. Oh, let's see. Do they just slow walk this and they do into the AWP Acadian? I mean, if they didn't know, now they definitely do, right? <laughs> so... Yes, he's so far. Yeah. He's everywhere. I don't believe Cadian. I don't. While well, Flamey up here in the palace. Or a push close to ramp as well. And with that deep smoke, this is just wasting so much time off the clock for Na'Vi. Now, these guys are, are totally fine in these high-pressure late-round scenarios. But when you're lacking the, uh, the utility to get you into this site like they are right now, they're going to be in for a pretty rough time, especially with three here. One of those being Kadian's orb. They need to cancel it out, and they've got to do it quick because they've given him a lot of freedom here inside of the A site. Nade onto Borup, and it does get followed up onto by Flamey, but a 1v4, he's not even attempting it. He's getting out of there. Ten seconds left to try and save. He hears them running through the ramp, trying to flank Palace. Kadian doesn't get the ace. Flamey, don't give it to him, don't. And he won't. A great round, though, from Kadian Zorp. Literally does it all. Puts four on the board for Heroic with four in the round himself. Yeah, and at least that save is something for Na'Vi because they have nothing alongside that. 2k a player, simple with a little bit more. Yeah, just some great shots for Caden. Even gets dinked in through the boxes on low HP, still survives, takes down Simple with him, thriving. He got for Simple, everyone else mostly on Eco. Caden lining up a top mid nade. Nothing all too significant, electronic. Nothing to lose, but won't go through that smoke, waiting for his underpass players to get control of the bottom of middle. Simple could even be boosted as well. Window has not really been played too much for Heroic. That continues. Kadian is watching it from the jungle, though, and falling off CT as he can't watch two positions at once. He doesn't want to be caught from a potential connector wrap or a window boost with both his A players occupied currently. Now we have no one outside of A for a change, though. Five middle. That's a chunky nade onto the one gun they have. I always get scared whenever Kadian's having a great game as well, because I feel like his calling really benefits from him feeling comfortable as an individual. And then the fact that his team have been looking good around him, you know, he's not he's not like in a position like a guy like Nico from FaZer being where sometimes you feel like you're the guy who has to get everything done. You know, like Kadian 
can entrust his team, and that's a nice feeling. It's freeing him up a lot on this map to be the guy, like, still taking a lot of the peaks, not having to worry about ramp, about palace. He's just swinging into mid and taking names. And Kadian loves a bit of that. He takes the head off of Simple. Now looking down range, he got four in the last round. This round, it stops at two, and Nico has put a stop to the bomb. Electronic has retrieved okay. himself an AWP, and now finds himself 1v3, Ooh. throws the AWP out the map. Did it go? I think it, it, like it might have I bounced. think it went. I think he's got it out, yeah. Yeah. Too far away regardless. That's a nice little play for Electronic. That's the thing, man. If he ain't ruining you physically, he'll ruin you financially. That's the Electronic way. Cutting a zero, off of your bank balance. It's still heroic leading. Five to two, and they reinvest in the double orb. It's all worthwhile in their eyes, and Kadian's certainly been showing us why. Can Stown do the same on his solo B adventure? Tessis is up cap fast. Kadian smoked off once again. Navi is setting up for a quick B play. The one round, the heroic only have a single man here. Obviously, Tessis can come back very quick to support. We'll see if, if he's there in time. Is Util going out lower? Navi hear that short player, and they want to take B while they can. Stown playing retake. He's got the shot, though. Flame is gone. Stown can't follow up, but he's got time to buy. Tessis with a second bomb dropped. Simple on an entry, but they need far, far more. Electronic and Boomich now really on the first man to do the damage. Boomich has swapped out to a MAC-10. He's so low. Wants to play things up close. Electronic goes back into the apartments, but Boomich needed out on the plant. Can't get the money guarantee for Na'Vi. Electronic in the clutch. Hey, simple. Hold my beer. Electronic going in with it. Looking. Two players in the market. And he's creeping up on them now. One up on the shelves, and he's got to reach high. Oh, but he does get it. And oh, a second kill for Electronic as well. He's fully stocked right now as he brings it down to the 1v1. Electronic now with the bomb on his back, and I think he just saw Bar up at Cat as well. Getting that bomb planted, retreating back towards the bench and taking wow. the fight. What a round from Electronic. My goodness. He reaches double digits and he puts up a 1v3. Four in the round to take a third for Na'Vi. That is going to be one hell of a blow to the economy as well. Think about the fact that Heroic just reinvested in the double AWP and they were both watching door. There was a, a moment, a timing where Electronic could have walked window and had them looking the wrong way. As he gets to the door, taking the long route, Heroic both turn around. That smoke doesn't help them like they think it will. And Na'Vi are going to be dancing after that one. Quick pause for Heroic as they try and figure out what on earth just happened. Got bamboozled. That's more of the electronic we like to see right there. Currently 10 and 6. As if you haven't noticed how many times his name came up in the kill feed. And by definition, Mad Lad. Also, one more cool stat about that Inferno game. I know, I know it only just happened and like there's a whole new game going on, right? But Simple and Electronic had 54 kills. The entirety of Heroic had 48. So, <laughs> oh, pretty elegant picture. That's sick, though. And that's the thing. Like, Simple's had a slow start here, but he hasn't really had the AWP all that much. In fact, I think this is his first AWP, I want to say. I certainly haven't seen him with one yet. So, finally getting to bring that into a round from the get-go. And it's a round where Heroic do not have much to bring to the table anyway. Kadian is at this B site, and he has been someone who's been that star for Heroic. But this time, he goes out supernova. Stown down as well, and the B site belongs to Na'Vi. Might just have to be a save for Heroic here. Three on four, they're still probing, but Electronic responds with a prod of his own. And now, that bomb going down, it's just gonna be Borup and Nico trying to stay alive. More so important for Nico than for Borup. He wants to try and get something out of this round at least. Stallion holds his ground just about as good as you can, as good as any man would in that situation. Boomich says, get out of the window, please. I would like to go into the site. Thank you, and good night. Nobby almost tying this one back up on four rounds. Look at Barrett. Look at him sneaking in. Oh, he's got the op. Oh, Simple. Wow. <laughs> Simple, don't let him get away. We got our best detective on the case, and there it is. Case cracked open, but Simple loses the AWP as well. It's costly. Electronic can be a real G of a teammate and just drop one over if he wants to be a madman. He says, you know what? 
you can't have an op if I can't have an op. Not yeah. a problem. And that's the thing. I think that's that's actually worth it for Na'Vi, right? Like, yeah, sucks losing the AWP, but you still make money out of the round. You deny that being held forward. It would have been an M4 and an AWP here available to Heroic. And we've already seen the kind of heroics that Cadian and Stown can both offer with that weapon. I think both teams are happy with that, right? It could have gone better for either of them. Borob could have gotten away. Simple could have gotten away. But both of them go, well, you know, they don't have an AWP. And in this round, like, that would have been more valuable to Heroic, who have nothing to show yeah. for it. The one gun already removed. Navi are fine playing rifles against an eco round, and they're going to start to make it nice, quick, and clean. Boom into middle, rushed by three, but it's only a FAMAS dropped at the top of mid. Tessus does grab the gun on the body of Nico, and that's enough for Heroic to throw in the towel to get out alive. Look to save their weaponry. Already trading rounds is only going to favor Navi more and more, so... Rook realized that one. Simple's getting a taste of what it's like to be on a team with Simple in this game, right? Like, he's just kind of oh. chilling out, getting a kill every now and again, but normally Electronics just killed three, and it's like, oh, cool. Nice and easy. Is this what it's like for the rest of you? Five on the board now for Na'Vi. As they tie this one up, and that's a, that's a nice sight to see, right? There was a moment where it looked like Heroic were kind of just steamrolling them a little bit, constantly, like, one step ahead in terms of the reads. And it really does feel like that 1v3 from Electronic has just tipped the scales back in favor of Na'Vi. And he's so hungry for more, wanting to take these guns out the hands of Heroic, but I don't think he's going to get there in time. He waits for that bomb to explode, runs a little bit, but knows that he's not going to get those guns out the hands of the Danes. We're all tied up. Reinvestment can come back in, but it's not going to feature an AWP. Yeah, sometimes it's just like how Na'Vi will let simple sort of create his own path or create a way in the round for Navi. Well, it's Electronic carrying the torch right now. And you want to talk about, well, you know, it, is this how it feels to play on a team with you, Simple? Maybe not to that degree. Did it sound anything like yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> but the, the notion is there. The idea is there. While Electronic's on fire, you might as well keep letting him heat up. Say that and Boomich, well, better luck next round. Stan pushes mid, divides this offense right in half. Yeah, Heroic have had some nice answers to the mid control for Na'Vi, right? We saw that triple nade up through the Astralis top mid smoke a few rounds ago, kept Na'Vi out. And this time just one player, and that's all they need. Stan flashed up, finds Boomich. Now he has to leave, or lead rather, from POVs only. Can't play into the round. Aggression for Heroic as well. Well timed as Na'Vi is setting up towards A with smokes. Perfecto's holding for this, so Heroic... They could go maybe too deep for their own good. Tess is though very good with the orc. He's got a half peak this angle, and he only dinks Perfecto through the wall. Getting away with that kill is going to draw things back for Na'Vi, who send the bomb elsewhere. Stacked up on A were heroic after that B info, but now it's come back to bite them. Caught with a nade in hand. Bob wasn't covered, and simple doubles down. Beautiful stuff. Still a player under bout, forced out by the Molly. Nico with another, but there's players dropping in for a bomb. He's going to hold his own. The bombs come back to A, and maybe that could be the undoing of Na'Vi. An MTB bomb site was on the table, but those double kills from simple entice Na'Vi into the stack. Yeah, look at that. They drop another Molotov oh. underneath the balcony. A quick shot there. A quick reaction onto Stown. Leaves just Nico perched up. Both these Navi players at about half health, but guess what? Nico is too. They are very weary. They know that he's around here somewhere. It was either lower or it was on top of the balcony, and it turns out he's on top. Nico falls. Navi go up by one. Six to five. For Electronic, you can, I guess, just wonder what he had for dinner. Maybe even his lunch. And perhaps any other rituals and routines. Because right now, that seems to be the key ingredient. Yeah, this is like one of those ones where, where you know, maybe you didn't go into it going like, this is my routine. But after today, it's going to be one of these ones where, like, Electronic looks back and he's like, well, I did have a cereal bar. And I never normally have a cereal bar. And then I go on to do this. Like, my goodness. Idiot no banana. money. This is how superstition deforms. Yeah, yeah, that's how it forms, right? There's no money left for, elect uh, for, for Heroic, rather. Not Electronic. He's actually loaded. He's looking great right now. Old chain on. SS down in the lower tunnel, but Electronic, one step ahead, does get dinked in the fight. And so that's him, brought down very, very low. Almost immediately, Boomish does get into the window and makes quick work of Borob. Now, they're still looking like they're moving in towards this A site. This is where all three are for Heroic. So there's always a chance that this could get out of hand. 
with simple on the case and showing face now, it's all left onto Cadian. And they know where he is, they know he's in CT, and that doesn't deter Na'Vi at all. They're like, yeah, bring the bomb in, Perfecto, we'll deal with this guy. And Boomich wraps him from the jungle. Na'Vi, they continue to build upon this lead. And Electronic's an underpass, right, when they find out where Cadian is, and he just immediately books it back towards B. It's like, hey, you know what, I'm gonna go this super ridiculously long route to try to find Cadian. There's no way he's escaping us now. And Na'Vi, you can't escape the facts that are seven to five. Just one map away from finding themselves in a grand final here for ESL Pro League Season 12. Yeah, it may have been a competitive start to this map, but five rounds in a row now for Na'Vi is starting to spell disaster for Heroic, who do have the double or back. Certainly could be the solution. Simple is not donning one on this T side. Back to rifles for him, despite the money being absolutely fine in the hands of Na'Vi. It did obviously come out with five alive, right? So no free orb gifted. No reason to upgrade yet. Nice grenade. Electronic on 50. Window smoke expires. Rethrown as well. Boomish jumped in window with the smoke landing, which actually somewhat hid his jumping noise in the previous round. Borup was not ready for him to be so deep. We've already seen window being given up round after round. Nico does come back through the jungle keeping an eye on it, looking at that light and the smoke. If it disappears, it means a player is crossing past it, boosted up silently. And so Nico knows to spam. Nothing given away yet, though. Another molly keeps him back, and he would have likely walked to his death. Electronic was holding the angle. Yeah, that Molotov gives an opportunity for Navi to reposition here in middle. As you can tell, they were both pretty close underneath the window, now having backed off. Maybe trying to feign a sound cue. Oh, yeah, Katie walked right into that one. Perfecto with the opening frag. Nico with the response now down to a four on a four. Nico with another one. Finally, someone stopped him. Yeah, look at Stown's orb though over on the catwalk. That could deny the bomb plant. He's Ooh. spamming and he tagged simple, but didn't finish the job. Will Ooh. not be able to the second time around. It takes Tessez coming in. And this is Boomich now, 1v3. There are kids. If they get on this bomb, they can just stick it, but they've given him time for the CT wrap, and he's going to play the trigger discipline. Wow. There's a double for Boomich, and now down to the 1v1. Stown arriving late from the catwalk, smoke on the bomb, trying to bait a peek, and Boomich just runs straight in, looking for Ooh. the fight, but Stown is fast. And we'll lock in the round on the back of that kill. It's six on the board for Heroic. A damn good try from Boomich. But not enough to outsmart Stown in the clutch. Yeah, Heroic was stalling out there because simple right click to smoke to allow him to plant, right? He still gets tagged by the orb on catwalk, but that smoke actually made Heroic second guess and they thought Boomish was inside of it. They thought, where else could he be? We know he's here somewhere. He'd wrapped all the way through jungle to CT again and he lines up to... Obviously, when the smoke comes down, he knows he wants to get closer before Stown is actively taking the fight because as soon as he hears a tap, well, you never know if it's a tap or a stick. And Boomish doesn't want to be caught out of position. Nice try, really good attempt, but it's kept heroic in this for the skin of their teeth on the CT side. No double orb saved, but one does get dragged forward. And Na'Vi, their B-Executes have been good, but Heroic are one step ahead. Nico already pre-rotating for a triple B setup. Heroic are in the brains of Na'Vi. Boomish coming up catwalk, watched by Tessens, but here comes the util. More in the favor of Heroic. They do some damaging grenades onto Na'Vi, and Tessens finds the first. Oh, there were two at bench. Perfecto didn't see that, though. And Tess says another with the orb, just lighting up this B site. Is the young gun of Tess says helped out by Stown. And between the two of them, they lock in that round for Heroic, tying us up again at 7-7. Seven to seven. Now, Na'Vi, they've been making a conscious decision to not purchase up this AWP a lot of the time. Like a few ago, they had money, they didn't go for it. And so now, last round, they give it a go again. Simple doesn't find anything with it. This time, they do buy one, but it gets thrown. Over to Simple. It was on Flamey. It looked like it was going to be spawn based because he was over towards ramp. And yeah, they do have two orbs here. I, think I wonder if there's an AK spawn. back in spawn. Yeah. yeah. Kadian was there first. Flamey went for the peak. And that's because Simple's handling the AWP on the other side of the map. Stan's going to be the receiving end. I like the idea, right? So Flamey goes and peaks ramp with the AWP. If you see someone AWPing ramp for Na'Vi, you're like, well. Who's that going to be, I wonder, right? And, and and so then they try and respond to that by pushing Stown into the apartments. That's actually where Simple is waiting with his orb. And so they use that to deliver the early kill to Na'Vi, who now sit in this five on four. Electronic down in the lower tunnels. 
Trying to get out into oh. mid and he saw the barrel. That is the biggest mistake Barab's ever made. He gets deleted. Luckily enough, Kadian and Nico are in with a kill apiece. They've taken Shaw. Flamey only with the leg. Finishes it off the second time around. And so now we're into a two on two. Tessez over at short side was the undoing of Na'Vi in that last B take. But this time... He's not able to find anything. Perfecto has at least secured the foothold in the site, and he goes one step further. Kadian holding for the cross, but he just misses the timing. And so he's left in a 1v2. This man has had some great moments on the orb, but not in this round. Perfecto gets the better of him. This game, a lot closer than that of Inferno. Heroic are doing everything they can to keep this series up in the air. Can they long it out, or do Na'Vi lock in a grand final placing here and now? Stick around to find out. Taking on Heroic in an upper bracket final here. Best of three at that. We saw the first map of play. Inferno going heavily in the way of Navi. This one, though, has a little bit more competition to it. Mirage, where we're trying to settle this, or potentially push us over to third map. And, well, should we need to go to that third map, it's going to be Train. For the time being, though, Navi, well, they've got just a few choice words about that. I'm joined by Harry and Hugo, and we're ready to lock this one down for you. Yeah, and right out of the gate, this is a, a pretty heavy mid presence here for Na'Vi. Simple, pushing the extremities of mid. Might not like what he finds, or he might relish in the challenge of this effective 1v3. 
They're a little bit closer than he's going to be ready for. And Cadian's opened up onto Electronic elsewhere. That's over in the window. Simple having a fall back and take this more passive angle at short. He is getting rushed Ooh. down and the flash is good. Cadian not only getting two openers, but providing the flash that gets them into B. That is a, a great round from him. Leaving Perfecto and Flamey two on four. They do have a kit at least, but that is the only thing going their way. And Cadian, look at him. He wasn't content with two. He wasn't content with throwing the God Flash. He's now in with a third and the wrap locks in the round for Heroic. Tying things up right away to begin this second half. Oh, that's a great precedent set by Heroic, right? Navi is so, uh, you know, drawn to the top of middle, especially after Simple gets that pick to bar up. The Cadian just crawls out underpass and catches Electronic in the window. No one even looking, no one even considering for Navi. What a great round from the in game leader of Heroic. And maybe that can bound them forward in this map still. Na'Vi won the pistol in the first half. Heroic picked up the force by victory. So will Na'Vi do the same right back? Deeds out for Simple. Let's make the jump the second time around as the smoke blooms. And Heroic have run right down mid with absolutely no fear. Maybe they should have some though, because Simple's on the other side with the Deeg. Laying in wait, the flash again is good. Oh my, they are just shutting him down in these first couple of rounds. And that's exactly what Heroic need to take this map away. B is theirs. Only player in the site to stop them is Perfecto. Boomish has used his utility to get out into default as well. And Perfecto is waiting for that fight. He's got it. Now disappearing, hiding in the smoke for a few more seconds. Tess is wrapping the backside. Perfecto with some damage and Porum kills him through the smoke. That is not what Heroic need. Oh, a bit of a calamity inside of B. And oh, no. is continuing to put bullets in their face. Three on two. Stan with a reload. They could rush him. They're given the respect, but nowhere to move. The bomb on A, and that's all Heroic have to rely on. Yeah, Kadia just, just left him behind. Left Stan to fend for himself inside of that B site. And now, in his sacrifice... Cadian not trying to let it be in vain. A 1v3 needed here. Moving into CT. Cadian, everyone moving in for Na'Vi on this rotation now. And there's oh. the first. Looking for the follow-up. But the dink from Perfecto. Yeah. Mid-air. Reasonable. Great round from Perfecto, right? Basically responsible for four of those kills. Like, he tags Tessas down to, what, like 10 HP? And then Borup just shoots him through the smoke. He's trying to help him out, and in the end, digs the hole even deeper. So once again, it's another one of these Na'Vi Force Spies finding success to immediately cancel out the pistol round victory for Heroic, just like what happened back on Inferno. Taste of their own medicine. Pistols out again for Heroic, but not forcing by, uh, force buying back in, right? Not convinced by the wars that often ensue in the first few rounds of a half. They're just going to take it dry, take it easy. And fast into middle, into the rifles. Boomage is dropping lower, Electronic is helping him out. Uh, this is a pretty easy shutdown with Simple there as well. Glocked by Cadian. Unreal. But uh, not a worry for Na'Vi, who should be fine to finish off the round. Tessa's locked in lower. Has been a bit of a shining star for Heroic. Uh, not anymore. Boomage on six health does convert the round, and Na'Vi go up 10 to 8. And this is why, you know, it's so tempting to, to force buy back in, like in that previous round, why many teams would have done that over eco because even though Heroic have a buy here, you know, on three players, they're not going to have any util if they play AKs. And so, well, they want util, so they have to play Galils. Not a pretty picture at all. The best they can muster. Smoke in the window, cutting off simple. He actually blocks it midair. He makes the jump and hits it still, landing on catwalk. Is the window smoke down? No, it missed completely <laughs> after he took it. That should have at Legend. least like, stopped him making the jump, but it didn't. Simple still makes it to cat. He's just intercepted it and still got to get to where he was going. Unreal. That is that is nuts. Unreal. Simple. Hacky sack champion of Navi. Eating the Danes at handball now. Oh, it's never been done before, but here it is. There's this double ramp hold, and now here comes the palace push. Will they be ready for Boomich? They deal with Flamey, but Boomich swinging out. In with two of his own. And this A site is anything but home to Heroic right now. Borup, two kills to his name. Has Cadian to fight alongside him, but maybe not for long. Simple. He's seen a leg. 
That's enticed him with the promise of a kill. And Kadian, if he goes any further left, <laughs> he is a dead man walking. Looking into the site, legged by Simple. They know where Kadian is, and they're just not going to give him the room. He tries to get fancy <laughs> with it. You can see that Simple, man, he just makes you think you've got to do the most ridiculous stuff. And he'll still hit it anyway. 11 on the board for Na'Vi. And once again, the money running out for Heroic. Yeah, it's even scarier considering we've got Boomish and Electronic fragging like this. Perfecto finding force victories for Na'Vi. And in all of this, Simple has been one of the quieter aspects of Na'Vi in this map. He wasn't on Inferno, but, you know, not really orping much on the T side. Shut down for the first two, three rounds of the CT half by great uh, place flashes from Kadian and Borup. And now he's got the AWP. Now he's a danger and a threat to Heroic making it to the final. Fast B approach in this eco round, and the nade has already blown down out of the water. Molly separate them, and they go in a little bit late. Flamey relishes in the fact, and Perfecto fires back as well. It's a clean, concise round for Na'Vi, 12 to eight, no casualties. Now only four away from a grand final spot here for ESL Pro League season 12. Yeah, they did. Do a little bit of fumbling after Katowice, as we kind of talked about. But this is more of the Na'Vi that we, we expect and like to see right here. No detriment to Heroic other than, well, playing against Na'Vi. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to be there either. And they might not be here for much longer, right? We need something out of this T-side, but Electronic making the cat jump. Na'Vi have done it every single round that they can. And to great success, Borup 2 and 15 having a very quiet game. And that is not what Heroic need right now. Stands out ramp. Oh, we didn't see Boomish. He did go for a little wiggle. Boomish doesn't have the info either, but could consider this as a possibility. Simple's already picked up Tessa's in mid on the chair too. And so it's only getting worse and worse for Heroic by the second. Whoa, the swing from Boomich. And he is ready for Nico as well, but Nico's going to get the better of him. Opening up a path into the A site and doubling down is Nico. Cadian, meanwhile, sneaking up Cat. Simple as rotated CT. And Nico's just hiding out in A. Cadian has dealt with Flamey. But there's the trade from Perfecto. And it's left in a 1v1. A bit of an awkward 1v1 for both parties. Because the bomb is dropped down here in mid. But in, in saying that, right, it's not like Perfecto has control of it. It fell lower tunnels. So he's having to try and hold on from Cat. And the problem he's now facing is that Nico could go anywhere from here, right? With so much time that was left on the clock when this began... Nico can disappear and reappear to his heart's content, oh. but Perfecto has the perfect read and deals with him in the window. The stars align for Na'Vi. 13 yeah. now on the board, once again wrecking the money of Heroic. This might be a second map, a kind of broken promises, right? It looked like it was close, it looked like it was competitive, but Na'Vi, they're ahead in terms of the money, they're ahead in terms of the individuals. And I might see them closing out this series and locking in that grand final very, very quickly if this keeps up. Yeah, desperate for Heroic as well. Four spies ensuing up against 13. Almost requiring a bomb plant at a bare minimum, but at this point they need rounds. They haven't had one since the pistol, and it's not getting easier. Perfecto so flashed. He still finds one before he departs. Flamey trying to rotate fast, and he has mowed down one with the Org. Simple rescoping back up, not letting them escape. And Kadian needs to bring the fight right back. Simple flicks. And there's just no safety for Heroic right now. Yeah, and you know, maybe it's important for us to tell you right here, right now, that if Heroic do end up losing this, they're not completely out of the running just yet. They're going to have a bout in the lower bracket with the winner of Mouse Sports and Astralis. So, Ike. cool storyline either yeah. way, there as well, right? Like, you either face an old teammate in S Tag, right? That guy, remember him. And then, you know, the rest of his Astralis lot for once again duking it out the, the best teams in Denmark right now. Or you face Mouse, a team that we haven't seen them play yet. Borup winning a fight, and that's a talking point. That's the thing, he's normally someone who's so good at getting these swing kills, the kills that make a difference, and he's been so quiet on this map of Mirage. Ooh. Finally winning one. And nice. Tessas goes on to continue that victory by taking jungle away from Na'Vi. That's going to leave Perfecto out on an island in the B site. And while he does get away with damage, they want to deal with Nico, who's also in this jungle position. It's going to fall to Boomich. Nico moving back towards A. Kadian's even aggressing down through the catwalk. 
Are they going to try and late rotate A? Deary me, this might give Boomich the 1v1s he was looking for. And Kadian's just dropped oh. in as well. That never should have been an RV round, but it is. As Boomich gets them there, the 1v2 puts match series and grand final point on the line. Just one away from locking it in. Na'Vi, everything is going their way right now, even if it never should have done. Yeah, Na'Vi have had such fast rotation to that B-bomb site. Heroic just over assume, right? They assume that Boomish is already on his way there, but because of his close ramp positions round after round, it slows down his rotate, putting him here right in the perfect place as Heroic double back. What an unbelievable round. It's just flawless. The auto snipers out. This is a mess. Simple on the scar. Electronic push close A and Kadian's gone. Simple looking to take scalps and he's spamming right back through the floor. He's going to hit everyone. Two kills for Simple's auto and it's insult to injury for Heroic. Two deaths away from back to that lower bracket. And Perfecto might make it happen. He's been such a solid anchor in this series. Flashing out on the bench, doing damage down left to find, and he does at least open up a chance to plant. Oh, that's certainly it right there. 23 HP on Stown, and he gets the bomb planted. This would be a miraculous one on three. As Navi start to clinch down on their grip. Map point in sight and practically in hand, unless they lose this. Somehow, some way, Electronic will be there. He's got the last say. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. 16 on the board for Navi. They're going to go on to the grand finals of ESL Pro League Season 12. Heroic, well, they're just going to have to try again another day through the lower bracket. That is sensational stuff.